said you'd send your spirit so we'd never be alone. A guide on this adventure to help us grow in holiness. A true and living compass who leads us to what's best. to another Emmanuel Kids Church with, and we are glad to have you back. We had a skip week last week um, and this week we are um, very happy to have you all back. This week though, we are having a revision week. We are looking at a lesson we've already done. So who remembers the story, a story about Cornelius and Peter? Where Peter, do you remember it, Reeve? Okay, we're going to go over it just now. Um, I actually did this story with Luke and Cameron. So you'll see just now the story about Cornelius and Peter with me teaching it to Luke and Cameron. But for our introduction today, girls, what we're going to do, look here. What does that say, Reeve? Yes. And what does this say? L Willow, look, look. What does that say? No, and that says yes. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, and you've got to decide if your answer is yes or no. If your answer is no, where are you going to go? There. If your answer is yes, where are you going to go? Okay, and we're going to see how many of them you're split over. Okay, so my favorite color is pink. Is your favorite color pink? Yes or no? Where, go where? Uh, your favorite color is pink, Madison? Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have a thousand rand at home. No. Okay. Mm, Madison does. Madison has saved all her birthday money and Christmas money. So she actually has. A thousand rand at home, but Willow and Revy don't. Okay. My favorite sport is riding a bike. Is your favorite sport riding a bike? It's all yes. Okay. Um, we 
are learning a story that you know about. Are you sure? Do you know what story we're learning about, Madison? Uh, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Reeve was listening. She does. Okay. Uh, I go to Ezra Preparatory School. Do you go to Ezra Preparatory no. School? No. Wait, but Madison and Willow, you do. I okay. I go to Clarendon Park School. Do you go to Clarendon School? <laughs> okay. So, you, as you can see, some of our answers were yes and some of our answers were no. But most of the time we were divided and we weren't in the same place. Okay. And that's what our lesson with Cornelius is about today. Some people were seen as they were allowed to go to, um, they were allowed to be a Christian. Some people thought that if you're a Jew, you were a Christian and that's great. But, and Peter thought this as well. So he wasn't even taking the chance to go to other, Christ other people. He was only going to Jews and speaking to Jews about Jesus. But this lesson with Cornelius, they taught, or the lesson taught him, or the vision from God taught him that it wasn't just the Jews that he should be going to and speaking to. He should consider everybody. And so after this vision that he had and by meeting Cornelius, he realized that he had to go out and tell everybody about Jesus. We are learning this week about Peter going to a name a man named Cornelius okay and this man do you know what happened with this man Cornelius do you know he wasn't a Jewish person and in those days the people thought that only Jews were allowed to be Christians are only Jews allowed to be Christians now as well no, no you're right no anybody can be a Christian hey can you be a Christian, Luke, Cammy? Yes. Lukey, can you be a Christian? Yes. Yes, anybody can be a Christian. Can somebody from China be a Christian? Yes. yes. Cornelius was a very devout Christian. He prayed to God. He always listened to what he should do. And he gave lots of his money and his stuff to poor people and his community and to the church. Um, and so... One day he was in his um, in the church praying and a vision came down to him. An angel came down from heaven and it said to him that he must go and call a man named Peter. And so the um, Cornelius told some of his servants to go and call a man named Peter. Now, in the Jewish community, people that weren't Jews were out they weren't allowed to be Christian, okay? But people that were Jewish were in. They were allowed to be Christian. So they didn't believe a man like Cornelius could be a Christian. They thought he was out, not in. in. Yes, okay. And so um, let's see what happens. Okay, are you re we're going to go see what happens. So we're going to go and see what Peter finds out. So in a town called Joppa, this was where Peter was and where Cornelius sent his men to go fetch Peter. Um, Peter needed to do his afternoon prayers. And as he was doing his afternoon prayers, he became hungry. And while he was doing that, a sheet with different animals came down from heaven. Look here, boys. Okay. Here, yeah? there were all different types of animals on this sheet. But, so God said, take one and eat it. And Peter didn't want to do that. He said, no, some are unclean. I can't do that. And God said. Like a pony's unclean. Like a pony's. More like a pig. In the Jewish customs, they weren't allowed to eat pigs. Okay. And, and so God said, I'm going to read from Acts 10 verse 14. No, Lord, Peter said. For I have never eaten anything impure and ritually unclean. 
Again, a second time, the voice said to him, What God has made clean, do not call impure. This happened three times and suddenly the object was taken up into heaven. Okay, so what God had made clean, you cannot say is unclean. So if God's made it clean, it is clean. And that was when the men came the men came to call Peter to come and see Cornelius like the angel had said. So, Peter walked all the way back to Cornelius' house. See here, we're back at Cornelius' house where he had his vision. His name okay. is actually funny. Do you think his name's funny? <laughs> okay, so they're back at Cornelius' house. And Cornelius explains to Peter how he had his vision. And in his vision, he says that an angel came down and said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard and your acts of charity have been remembered in God's sight. Therefore, send someone to Joppa, invite Simon here, Simon Peter. He is lodging with Simon the tenant. So immediately he sent these men. And Peter then began to speak. Now I truly understand that God doesn't show favoritism. But in every nation, the person who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. So from Peter's vision, where anything that God has made clean is acceptable, the same meant for the people. Anyone that God accepts and they accept who God is, they're also allowed to be Christians. So, even though this man wasn't a Jew, was he in or out, Cam? In. 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 Why? Because he believed in? in Jesus. Well done, yes. So, even though this man wasn't a Jew, he was also allowed to be a Christian because Jesus had said it was allowed to be. And Jesus if that man believed who Jesus was and truly trusted who he was, he too was allowed to be a Christian and believe in Jesus and follow Jesus and Jesus would save him too, not just the Jewish people. So when Peter was saying this and speaking this to those people, the Holy Spirit, remember how the Holy Spirit came down on Pentecost on the disciples? Now remember we did the, fl the flame that came down? So this happened to these men as well. And you know what's funny? Today is actually Pentecost Day. And we are learning about how the, it came down on these men as well. Okay. So the Gentiles also got the Holy Spirit come down on them. And they also were allowed to be Christians and follow Jesus. Just like um, Peter and all the other disciples. Welcome, we are going to do our memory verse now. So stand up, join us, and let's learn the memory verse. This is the second last week we're doing this memory verse. So this week's the second last, and then next week is the last time we're going to be doing this memory verse. Okay, you ready, girls? Okay, I forget. And it is everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Acts 2 verse 21. Okay, let's try that one again. Are you ready to try it again? Let's let Chad catch up to us. And let's go. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Acts 2 verse 21. Well done. High five.
So today's activity is um, slightly different. Uh, last, we, last time we did this lesson, we did the activities for this lesson. So um, today we're going to do some Play-Doh. So if you remember from the lesson where I taught Cameron and Luke, um, in the vision, Paul gets shown a, a, a sheet full of different types of animals, some animals that were allowed to be eaten and some animals that weren't allowed to be eaten in their traditions. And by showing that Paul could eat, uh, Peter could eat anything, um, G Jesus was showing him that any Christian, anybody could be a Christian now. And, um, and so the, the kosher didn't matter um, anymore. And so anybody could come to Christ. So the girls for our activity today, they're going to build some animals using our Play-Doh. Um, and what I'll do is I'm going to send a recipe for Play-Doh to your moms and dads. And you guys can also make some Play-Doh and build some animals if you would like to. Okay, girls, you're going to make some animals? Yep. Okay, go. Okay, what are you going to make? I'm making a cat. You're going to make a cat. Madison? How about a snake? That's nice. octopus, another octopus, a fish, a cow with its udder there, a piggy, another little fishy, we have a cat. chicken with eggs, a, ca a cat, a snake Thing. and a snake and a snake. Ah, oh, we have three snakes and we have a bird that's or a, a chi chicken. That's a hen. Is that a hen? Okay. And a piggy and a sheepy. Okay. So you guys hey, have, yep, you guys have fun, enjoy making your Play-Doh animals um, and hope it is a great time. Thank you for joining us. All the information about our lesson or the videos or anything will follow on afterwards. Um, have a wonderful week. Most children seem to be going back to school, so I hope it's been a good time heading back to school and that you're enjoying the time back at school. And we hope to see you soon back here at Kids Church. Say bye, girls. Bye. bye.